Power 5 size, and they got some Power 5 transfers. They're good. They're, uh, they got great size, and their guards are playing well. They run really good stuff. They got great size. They, they got as good a size anyway we, we have played. How do you look at this? Is it a continuation of this year or the beginning of the future? How do you approach this? No, I knew that philosophical job. <laughs> you don't have any seniors, so yeah. No, I mean I, they wanted to they wanted to keep playing. I asked them, they said they wanted to keep playing. So I mean I think it's a great opportunity to get them some experience. Bob, what what improvements did you see in the last several weeks that, that you hope to continue and maybe further from here on through? Well, I thought defensively we were much better. Um, I thought we competed a lot harder. Uh, and, you know, by and large, we, we ran pretty decent offense. Had they played poorly down the stretch, that would impact, obviously, what you would have done with them. In this thing, correct? Not um, really. Not. We, I asked them before we went to Kansas City what they wanted to do, and, and they also didn't want to play. So, they want to play as many games they can play. Coach, what are your thoughts on this Grand Canyon team? Seems like they kind of built a lot of momentum in the conference tournament heading into the CBA. They take Nevada to the buzzer. They uh, they've been good all year. I, mean, I don't think I don't. They may have a little more momentum now, but they've been good all year. Dan does a great job coaching them. They run really good stuff. They play hard, and they're huge. I and mean, they're they're the biggest team we've played. There's no doubt about it. Besides winning, what what do you want to see for? I'd set up for a winning right now, John. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, they're, they're playing well together. They like each other. They uh, we pass the ball a little better. We just got to continue to improve. We got to rebound the ball better, and we've got to not turn it over so much. The rest of it will come. Derek has previously mentioned that him and Jordan are like yin and yang. How do you think that transitions to their on the court progress? You have to ask them. Derek will be out here in a minute. Jordan's over there. I don't know. I don't know. I can't honestly answer that. I don't know. Is this team playing like you hoped it would have played at the end of the year? That's hard to say too, because they're different teams. These guys, these guys were sitting on the bench watching those other guys play. I like what these guys have done, but I can't. We've had two different teams, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Bob, we've seen Emmett have a big game here or there, but he hasn't really been able to consistently put that together on, a, on, a, on an every game basis. What do you think he needs to do to, to maybe get a little more consistent? Well, I think he played well against Oklahoma. He played really well against Texas Tech. And he ran out of gas. Uh, we, we're going to have to continue to work on his conditioning. We're going to have to continue to work on his strength. You know, when you're, when you're not near as strong and you you're constantly, you know, it's kind of like you push the car up a hill. And after a while, you kind of get fatigued. And that's kind of what he's doing. He's, he's laying on big bodies, trying to, trying to move big bodies. It takes a toll on you. The way this term is laid out, Coach, you play tomorrow, you win, you don't play until the 25th. Is, what benefits does that give to you and, uh, as far as a coach? I get to go recruit. That's it. Well, I know. I get to go recruit. I get to get some time off to go recruit. And they can 
they can come in and we can do some skill stuff with them. And then in a couple of days before we play again, we'll start practicing. After the first two, they receded this thing, right? They, hmm? see, they receded after the first two? And you know, divided up? I, I don't know. You're just going to play who you I'm play, just, right? Yeah. Line up and play. I got, got a lot of things on my plate. <laughs> Bob, your numbers have dwindled a little. Are, are you healthy enough to, to have enough depth that you need? We got ten guys. Mm -hmm. you know, ten's enough. I mean, you don't play much more than that anyway. All ten of those fairly healthy. In what their opinion or mine? <laughs> Yours. In my opinion, yeah, they are. They're playing healthy. Follow up on something from your call yesterday. You mentioned uh, <coughs> Daggerball seeking, you know, <coughs> seeking, seeking a red shirt. Do you expect him to get that? Do you expect him to get back? Maybe? I didn't say he was seeking a red shirt. I said that that was that was a possibility, and and it wouldn't make sense for him to do that, and that um, it's available to him. Why wouldn't you? Another year of getting your school paid for. How do you think Derek played out in the whole tournament? I think like the rest of the freshmen, they played well two games and they got tired. He, got, he takes a beat. Uh, and two of the officials out there said, He's the most physical, he's the most physical player in the league. When people are banging on you, don't you have to be? He, he, takes, he takes a lot of contact. How was he handled? Doesn't seem to bother him much. He, he doesn't. He really doesn't say anything at all about it. I think the one game he went up to one of the officials and said, hey man, you're going to have to help me out here a little bit. And um, this is getting a little crazy. But other than that, he doesn't really say much. As another season in your career comes down to uh, towards the end, have you ever sat down and reflected on what you built here at WVU, or has that kind of just never been a thought? Probably a better chance I would do that if we won. It's been a rough year. It's been a rough year for everybody involved. Let me take that a little further, Bob. You've been coaching for 30, 37 years. You would think there'd be nothing left to learn. Did you learn anything from this year? I mean, is, is there anything you might have done different? Or? I think it was probably more a refresher course, Bob, than it was a learning course. I think I think uh, it solidified some of the things that that you know we knew that we maybe took for granted. Did they teach you years like this when you were coming up, coming up through the ranks? <laughs> you know, I got taught by my dad. He never had one like this, so. You know, it's kind of form. You know, you, I think, well, obviously everybody thought we were going to be pretty good. You rank 13th in the preseason, people think you're going to be pretty good. But nobody, nobody knew, you know, everything that was going to happen. The Beetle was hurt for pretty much from, from the summer on. You know, Sags' situation. Losing the other two who were our starting forwards. So I don't think anybody ever plans on losing four starters. Bob, going back to the beginning, this is probably the first time since then that I don't know, favorite is the right word, but you're the higher seed here, you're at home, and it's probably been a long time since you guys were on the other side of the matchup. So like for a while you've been playing back against the wall, nothing to lose. Are they excited about that or prepared for that? Just kind of a different approach to this. 
You know, Mike, we honestly haven't talked about it. We've talked about it's an opportunity to play, to gain experience for really a bunch of young guys. Um, I don't, it's maybe bad to say, I don't know everybody that's even in it. I know who we're playing. And I know, you know, we win who we're playing next. That's it. I don't understand. I, I don't. I don't understand it, but I really don't need to. Somebody else will figure that out. Is it good for them though to get that kind of change of perspective? Because it's been a long time, and for all these guys, they haven't really been in that spot. Because, like you said, it's completely turned over from the first game. I think. I. I think that you guys think about it a whole lot more than what they do. They just want to play. Okay. No, they don't. I, I don't. I don't think that those guys, maybe one of them has sat down and tried to figure out the whole deal, but the rest of them, they just come in and play. I, I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Who's your bracketologist? Uh, Jay Koontz. Uh, right. So okay. that's why it's generally screwed up. <laughs> No, I was careful. Yeah. You mentioned, other than 13, I don't get the feeling that there's the same vibe around this team as there was in 13 last time you had a difficult season. Is that, is that accurate? The feeling about these guys, the feeling about the team? By who? By who? The, the coaches, you guys, just the, the feeling there? You're talking about playing a bunch of guys that you that you thought were going to be good players, but would be brought along. You know, in Derek's situation, he walks in here after missing a semester, and he's the best freshman in the league. He might have been the best big in the league. I didn't expect that. I don't, I don't think anybody else did either. But there just seems to be a, a better feeling about the core that you've got moving forward than you did in 13 when you had a lot of unknowns. And they like to play. You know, these, these guys, basketball is important to them. Not that it wasn't important to the other guys, but you know, I, think, I think other things creep in your life. And, and, and unfortunately, I think other people creep in your life who really don't have your best interests at heart, although they spend a lot of time trying to sell that they do. Everybody, every, everybody kind of listens more to what they want to hear rather than probably what they need to hear. I mean, that's a, it's a constant battle. And, and I, I mean, I got tired of my dad telling me that. To be honest with you, I, mean, I was like, man, I can't get away from, I can't wait to get away from this. But it's reality, and there's virtually thousands of more people out there now that try to make a living off of something in basketball. Those two games, Oklahoma and Texas Tech, was that as close to your team playing to their potential as uh, they have this year? I don't know about Oklahoma. I think probably Texas Tech. They, they came out and were after we got them down, we're extremely, extremely physical, and we didn't respond to it very well. And, and then there was a timeout, and they were they were up generally upset with themselves that they let that physicality bother. And I, they came out and were a lot more physical themselves. It's probably as physical as they could be with their stature compared to. You know, Texas Tech's good because they're playing all their seniors. They've got the best player in the league, and the rest of them are basically seniors. And, and most of them are uh, five-year seniors. 
Was that unprompted, or was that just the guy saying, hey, we got to be more physical, or was that you telling them, hey, we need to be more physical? I might have handled that. <laughs> But as a coach, I mean, getting the guys to play with their potential, that's, that's basically, that's, that's what you try to do, right? You get them to play the, the best of their abilities. It's a hard game and uh, you don't shoot it well every day. Nobody does. Everybody has off days. And if you want to be a really good player, you find ways to help your team without having to make shots. You, know, you look at, you know, Nate's running around here somewhere. I mean, Nate, Nate played the last five games with a shoulder. He couldn't lift, he couldn't lift his hand over his head, but he found ways to, to help his team. Maybe an example of that was uh, the pass that LeBlanc went and made there at the end of when he Handed it off to Jermaine. I mean, I'm not sure he makes that pass two weeks prior. He made it twice. He made one to Logan and he made one to Haley, and those were two big plays. Lamont wants to win. You know, Lamont got caught up in in that, you know, that deal of forward. You know, and, uh, he didn't play as much as probably 